Norm Rosen from RV Lifestyle Magazine. I'm in beautiful Delhi, Ontario with Paul Pereira from Hitch and Go RV and we are in a super exciting 2024 Redwood fifth wheel trailer. Now this is a very special unit. Mm -hmm. This is the first 2024 Redwood in Canada and this is a super deluxe couples unit which would accommodate five six people easily mm -hmm. if you have visitors and Paul tell me about this beautiful new unit so uh, like you said Norm this is a 2024 it's a 4120 GK so this has been in the works for a couple of years Redwood's been designing and prototypes and back and forth a few things and I think they've ironed out all the kinks uh, brand new uh, custom paint job that we got on this one called the Topaz the beautiful blues and silvers uh, and, and obviously the white which is very nice and neutral um, this unit is a rear living floor plan but an extended rear living um, where you come in the door you get your full uh, oven and stove top uh, 18 cube uh, residential refrigerator and then you, you, lots of counter stop, lots of uh, countertops, lots of prep area uh, full pull out drawers pantries as you can see um, and then so it's basically uh, you you it's you can have a couple staying with you so it sleeps mm -hmm. four but it, for entertaining you can do six or eight people comfortably is it um, and then you got your full 55 inch uh, fireplace 65 inch TV this unit comes with full solar yes. so you re you basically can do five five six days off grid. Uh, off the batteries, we put uh, gel batteries, two batteries with this, mm -hmm. and so your refrigerator, your TV, your power recliners, your CPAP machine in the bedroom, all that would work off of your inverter, and beautiful day like we have today, solar will keep it going, just like we are here. We're it basically is. here in the, in the Harvest Host field. <laughs> We're at a Harvest Host location near Delhi, Ontario, uh, and this is the Rambling Rock a Rambling Road. Rambling Brewery. Road Brewery. And Rambling Road is a fascinating place because it's actually on an agricultural property where they grow their own hops. They mm -hmm. grow all of the various ingredients for the Rambling Road Brew. Uh, and they have uh, a wide range of beer. Mm -hmm. uh, we have sampled the beer. <laughs> uh, the beer is actually outstanding. Very small brewery, uh, a niche taste within the uh, the uh, brewing industry. Uh, very popular in the mm -hmm. area. They got great food. They do. They serve lunches and dinners, burgers. Cool. Uh, and then you do your your samples. It's yeah, cool. very good. And uh, if you're a Harvest Host member. Uh, you can stay here free as yep. part of your Harvest Host membership, and you can stay on the premises here for one day at a time. Uh, if it's not crowded, you could, I suppose, ask permission to stay an extra day. I'm sure that if they mm. could accommodate you, they would. Uh, very nice people in the uh, brewery. So basically, you walk up to the unit, unlock the trailer, There's a, a wind latch on the back here. And these are strut assisted stairs. So they're super light, as you can tell. Very lightweight. And to close up the same thing, they basically hold themselves. So you come on in and you turn on your Firefly system. And you start extending your slide outs. So as they're going out, you're taking a look and making sure that nothing is shifted uh, while you are traveling, uh, that nothing is catching behind the slide outs. Everything 
is good here. You move on to the bedroom slide. Same thing, always keep your eyes on, make sure nothing is anywhere that's going to get jammed up in the slide out. Okay. Also, with this Firefly, you can download the app on your smartphone and you can do all of this from outside the unit as well. And you can level the trailer, you can open and close your awnings. Console. So the, you activate the panel here, your Firefly, and basically this is the brains for the whole unit. All your lighting, your slides, your awnings, uh, your HVAC, so air conditioning and heat, is all controlled off of this, which like I said earlier, there is an app that you download on your phone and you can do everything on your phone the same way as you do it on here. Excellent. I actually got a picture of the unit with all your slides and all your options on there. Each mm -hmm. each floor plan is different, so that'll be floor floor program floor plan specific. Excellent. So we got your theater seating, the heated, cooled massaging chairs, um, nice residential style furniture. Um, also, all these units with the Firefly, you get your touch switches. So you have your main control panel. Uh, by the door, but you have individual switches as well where you can turn on and off your lights. Like I said earlier, same thing off your phone. Um, full uh, sleeper sofa, so it's a pull-out bed, a fold-out bed uh, that would sleep too comfortably. Uh, tons of storage, cabinets everywhere. Uh, Redwood is known for their higher-end full-time living units. So these are all as you can see, solid wood doors, solid styles. There is no MDF, no plastic wrapped uh, wood in this unit. Um, that is built for full-time living. So with, when you get all these features, uh, solid surface tops, they do become a little heavier. Uh, this one comes in, I believe, at just under 16,000 pounds. Um, three air conditioners, standard. These are all the new uh, quiet, cool, comfort AC units. And they are, um, they got a filter just like your residential house filter it's not those little foam pads anymore and they all come with the they got the um, soft start built into them so if you got a, a 3000 watt generator 4400 watt generator you can easily run two air conditioners they're all 15,000 BTUs um, heat pump air conditioner in the bedroom and then these are two uh, conventional air conditioners fire and the ceiling fan, yep, ceiling fan as well. And you got your fireplace that puts out 15,000 BTU of, um, of heat. Right? And that is an electric fireplace. Electric fireplace, some, correct. Some newbies to the RV industry mm -hmm. take a look at fireplace and they think that it's actually going to burn something. Nope. Uh, but <laughs> nope. no, these are, uh, electric. these are electric fireplaces. And above the fireplace, we have a huge Yep, so you got a 65-inch TV. TV LG, so it's brand name, with mm -hmm. the LG soundbar. Um, and then as you go across, you got all your, your cabinets. you got cabinets up here with fancy doors, the glass inserts. This is all new for 24. Here, I'll come out on this side. And then you got your pull out drawers in here. That is pull out pantry storage. Correct. Uh, that is uh, in the galley, mm -hmm. but right beside the, uh, the engine section. Right on this side. Then you got big, full depth pot and pan drawers. Some more pull out drawers over here. Full solid wood, as you can see. They are. There is an option for dishwasher if you if you uh, would like. Uh, this one does not have that option, but it can be installed at any time. We do that all the time. Appliances, washer dryers, dishwashers, that kind of stuff. Right. Box of storage as well. The stainless. That's an island kitchen. Correct. This is an island kitchen. Nice long island. I would say this is about seven feet, at least seven feet long. Yeah. And um, we have a, uh, a rectangular stainless steel farm style. Mm -hmm, correct. With a residential style uh, faucet. Mm -hmm, yep. 
for a wand sprayer. with a sprayer. Then you get your, there's a water filtration system in the front of the coach, in, in the storage compartment where you have filtered coffee, drinking water, what have you. Uh, full pull out uh, a garbage uh, basket. Mm -hmm and some more drawers. Can never have too much storage. And there's lots of it in this one. There's a nice tall skinny one for tall uh, uh, baking pans, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Some more stuff up in here. Microwave convection insignia, convection combination, convection uh, microwave. Convection. Mm -hmm. that's, and then- That's a residential refrigerator. Residential refrigerator slash ice maker. Mm -hmm. So you got all your, your storage in here for freezers, fridge, and this all runs off of your inverter. We didn't... That, that's a Samsung refrigerator. This one is a Samsung, Samsung. yes, yeah. yes, yes. Excellent. And then you got your full uh, Insignia range. Um, mm -hmm. They've had these out for a few years. They're pretty popular, Very, they work really well. You can do a full turkey in there, mm -hmm. really good size, and then you got a residential uh, hood. Look at that beautiful stainless steel residential range hood. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yep. And then more storage, obviously, either side. You got a little seating area for some shoes, some coat, uh, coat hooks to hang some coats mm -hmm. when you're coming in here. And then you've got the... Uh, then you got your table. The little, uh, the little dining area where we started our, mm -hmm. our conversation. And that dining area is nestled into the slide-out section. And you've got uh, two residential chairs. Uh, That's correct. But the table extends so you can actually see... You can see five or six. Correct. So you do... Uh, that comes with two folding chairs that are in the front storage and the closet there. So this does extend. So, so it comes in with a total of four chairs. Four chairs. And then you, it does uh, extend out the bottom here as well. It's got a... Once we find the second There you go. So if you open it all the way... Easy board games, cards, dinner. There's lots, lots of room. Yeah, you can easily fit five people. In. Easily, easily. Also has a wireless charging uh, port. port. So you just lay your phone on there. It'll charge it wirelessly. Mm -hmm. And then a lot big storage down on this side as well. Yes. Now this uh, theater seating. Mm -hmm. This is very nice. Mm-hmm. So they're they're uh, heated and uh, heated and massage, okay. and the power recline, power retract. Excellent. Then. So now you come up the hallway, and this floor plan has a huge bathroom, bedroom area. Um, the hallway has this. This is one big slide that has a. a all your wardrobes, hanging, linen closets, um, all of that. And then as you come into the bathroom, you have his and her sinks. Mm -hmm. Well, we have one sink over there. One here and then one hidden in the back here. And your porcelain toilet. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh, this is a very nice little area here. Right, so you got your... His and hers, lots of storage underneath. Again, Just storage beside. Pull out drawers on everything. And of course, this is this is a a mid floor plan mm -hmm. uh, washroom facility. Correct. But it's an ensuite because you're standing in the. I'm door standing the correct that goes to to the bedroom. The bedroom. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So let's proceed back and oh, actually, hang on a second. Mm. Take a look at this beautiful shower. So you get two shower heads. There's a rain, the rain uh, head, and then the hand wand with the diverters and a little bench to sit down, shave your legs, what have you. I don't normally shave. No, <laughs> no, me neither. But some people do. <laughs> so as you walk from the bathroom area, as you walk from the bathroom into the uh, bedroom area. Mm -hmm. So you got a full king 
with uh, a night nightstands on either side that one does have some storage you have plugs that are off your inverter so yeah. that would run your CPAP machines if you if you need that and the, behind you, you have. and then this is a continuation of that slide with full drawers and then your TV uh, cross ventilation so there's windows on either side of the bedroom and then your this AC unit has a heat pump so that up to 5 Celsius the heat pump will keep the fireplace and heat pump on their testing that they've done 5 Celsius will maintain this at 72 Fahrenheit without any furnace yes yeah, so 5 Celsius is uh, about 40 degrees 40 degrees Fahrenheit yep yes and at the headboard area. So this is a tilt, it's a tilt bed. Oh, lovely. So you tilt the bed up, watch TV or read a book. Mm -hmm. um, so that. That's nice. Yep. Is there under bed storage? So there'll be drawers on either side yes. and there'll be drawers down here. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, on that side, I believe they are. They've changed, but there is pull out drawers down at, here at the rear of the uh, so, so back so this is the front of the coach that's front of the so this would be your washer dryer cabinet yeah so that's where we install them if, if you do not and there's your your chairs your folding chairs yes for the table if you don't want then obviously it's it's a storage extra storage and then when you come in here it's all on motion light so when the doors open the lights come on you get more drawers more hanging and then on this side of it you got your little uh, washer your clothes hamper mm -hmm. on this side excellent and we are now we are above the load bed of the truck correct excellent and now we're taking a look at this area of this beautiful coach we're looking at this. There's a pocket door. Well, not a pocket door. It's a sliding door. Sliding door, yep. Yeah. And then this one we're would... looking back, back down the corridor towards mm -hmm. the, the front of the unit. Now, let's take a look over here at the foot of the bed where we have this beautiful uh, 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 storage drawer area. You have a very nice, uh, you have a radius corner window and you have an additional LCD TV. Correct. Excellent. So this is uh, nestled in the slide out on the passenger side of the front of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then the headboard, of the, the headboard of the bed is nestled into the slide on the driver's section. Hanging closet space. Yep. So this, this is, uh, full hanging, full, full hanging closet space. Mm -hmm. That's again at, towards the foot of the bed, mm -hmm. and then in the actual aisle, you have hanging closet space. Of course, impossible to photograph from this angle. There, uh, but you have hanging closet space and additional storage below on a shelf so that is in the corner and then this one is linens and stuff like that there's some shelving there or anything that people mm -hmm. want to put in there exactly excellent so you were mentioning that this is a 16,000 pound trailer right this is just under 16 pound dry gross 18.9 18.9 and the preferred tow vehicle would be uh, a one ton dually one ton dually so we have hitched up a ram mm -hmm. 3500 3, diesel mm -hmm. dually correct so th that that would be uh, a preferred type of vehicle mm -hmm. for towing this particular correct. size trailer right uh with that ram truck uh i believe the maximum towing capacity on that is around twenty thousand pounds no those are thirty four thousand thirty four thousand yeah so that's the new the new the fifth gen they calling them fifth gen. that's a high output so that's yes. got a asin six speed that one with a 410 rear end like i have it set up there is good for thirty four thousand pounds and seventy eight hundred pounds uh pin weight in the bed interesting so with air ride it's on air ride so you put air ride suspension uh, it's from the factory oh from yeah the factory. i don't 
own uh, yeah, Excellent. Yeah, it's an option. And uh, I imagine you're back and forth to the factory to pick up vehicles. What, right, type, and of, what type of fuel efficiency would you get? So, I, I'll actually, twice a year I go to the East Coast and deliver one for a customer. She owns a property on the water. So we deliver it and, and pick it up in the spring. And I'll get about uh, uh, 11 miles to the gallon. Towing a big redwood like this. That's not too bad. It's not bad. The weight nope. you're towing. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And her trailer's loaded. She's got all her supplies for the summer in there. Excellent. So, yes, they're not bad at all. Okay, so now we'll come on the outside. And, uh, I mean, look at the beautiful slides of the beautiful paint job they did on this one. Um, we have your storage compartment. Full storage that goes right across. Um, you got all your lighting for the outside. You got your there's a radio that works inside and outside with Bluetooth in here. You got a, a slot wall that you can buy all these little hooks and to keep your stuff all organized. And then your which is great. This is a great feature. Is all your hydraulic systems is right here. Super easy to service. Um, normal normally on these RVs they will be up in the front in in the top corner and you can't get to them. You have a heck of a time, especially me getting in there to service them so this is awesome uh, lots of room easy to diagnose any problems any valves anything that needs switching um, all insulated and heated storage compartment up front over here on the front side they're not heated um, the great thing too with them is they have a water manifold system so if one of the faucets your toilet uh, anything goes bad in the unit you can come here and actually shut off that line and still use the, the, the trailer uh, until you can get it serviced uh, water softener is included with this unit as well uh, like I said earlier the solar the controls there for the solar um, it has it comes with uh, tire pressure monitoring system that's included in this unit as well uh, GFI plug on the outside uh, there's a TV hookup in here as well we've done them where people have a TV that folds down out here so that's all pre-wired in this unit and then you got a nice big pass-through storage on this particular floor plan because of the length of the upper deck you have another storage that goes right across from one side to the other uh, twin 30-pound uh, propane tanks one on either side and then at the front, you have your generator compartment, so it's pre-wired for a generator. And then you have your battery compartment and then a little storage up here as well. Um, for if, if you want like a barbecue or stuff that you don't want mixed in with your regular storage items. <coughs> We'll go around to the other side and we'll do the the hookups water compartments. So on this side you have your Truma tankless water heater, uh, the Aquago uh, that's uh, on this one. Um, then you have all your your connections here for your water filtration as well. You have your landing gear connector. Uh, keypad your gray tanks your black tanks and your water closet basically is on this side over here um, going back you got your furnace and then you got your 8,000 pound axles um, 17 and a half inch rims with H rated tires so that's the heaviest um, that I believe in the industry on a tandem not a triple axle um, so this weight at grossed out is still under the capacity of your axles on this unit same thing again beautiful paint job slide toppers on this one automatic uh, six six point auto leveling and then you have a power cord reel out the back so because it's a full-time rig, thermal pane windows, so dual pane. You got a, a ladder that, that you walk up on the roof. It's a full walk-on roof. And it's, uh, it's at, the attic is vented, just like your house. There's an airspace between the insulation and the roof liner. Uh, that's what makes them full-time rigs. Uh, 3,000 pound hitch on the back, 3,000 pound towing, 300 pound carrying capacity with a, with a plug.
for your lights and, and so on. So it's a Dometic awning on both of them. Okay, so these are Dometic awnings. Mm -hmm. uh, they are push button automatic awnings. Correct. Uh, there's some very nice accent lighting at the uh, connector. Right. Of the, where the awning connects so whether, the coach. Yeah, whether the awning is open or closed, you can still have uh, the LED lights on. So if it's, you know, raining or nighttime and you come in, the awning's closed, you can still, from your app on your phone, turn on the lights, see where you're going, what you're doing. Excellent. Let's take one more look at these beautiful counterweighted front entry stairs. Mm -hmm. Now, there are a lot of people who take a look at this. They're kind of afraid because it seems like a big unit. Right. But they're counterbalanced so literally you could operate that with a couple of fingers right exactly this is basically a couple of fingers we had a, a customer that had a, a surgery on his wrists and that was one of the things and very simple excellent it just goes up there and then there's a pin to lock they will the, the strut holds it in holds it closed uh -huh. for you and then you close the door and it latches it yep. there's a little we also have a, uh, a very good grab handle yep very good grab handle bring it all the way down and then you can adjust the height of the step depending on the on the ground that you're in whether you off level level higher or lower you can adjust that to the height that you need it to be and the very first redwood fifth wheels 2024 models to come in you're right and this is a relatively deluxe coach correct so people can go onto your website mm -hmm. for more details because as each coach comes in they're essentially custom built essentially the, the the floor plan is the same but we can choose different colors exterior colors there's four different exterior colors right now so we can mix and match a few things the options now this particular vehicle as it sits mm -hmm. as a manufacturer suggested retail price in the 220,000 US, US range correct of course uh, in Canada uh, you would have to apply, you know, whatever the exchange uh, rate, uh, freight mm -hmm. is right. involved, exchange rates, right? Uh, whatever duties, importation, mm -hmm. rates, whatever. Correct. Uh, what would the the landed price of a vehicle like this be, ballpark? So this one, the way it sits here, you're at about two thirty four. Canadian, two thirty four nine Canadian. That's what we we. That's the actual selling price. So that. Concerning it lists mm -hmm. XRP for 220, 220,000 US. Correct. For this to be out the door from Hitch and Go RV for 239 Canadian, that's taxes in? No, that's plus tax. 234 $2 plus $2 tax. We don't do, uh, there's no admin fees and stuff like that. Our pricing is basically whatever it's advertised and tax and licensing. Yeah. Basically. So, so you'd be uh, 234 9 plus tax. Excellent. Now, uh, we will uh, put the links, of course, mm -hmm. into the description of this video, and we'll also put them into the article that will be on the website at www.rvlifemag.com, rvlifemag.com, which is the RV Lifestyle Magazine website. Correct. And the Hitch and Go RV website is www.hitchandgorv.com h-i-t-c-h-n-g-o you got it dot com yep and uh, Paul and his team would be delighted to help you with anything you need of mm -hmm. course the dealership carries a wide range of brands mm -hmm. and models so while we are focused today on a very high-end deluxe fifth wheel, mm -hmm. your inventory at the dealership would go from mid twenty thousands. Oh, for definitely. Basic travel mm -hmm. trailers, correct. As high as, as anybody really needs it. From the mid twenties all the way up to this, this would be one of the most expensive on the lot right now. Well, when the bigger ones come in, they'll be a little bit more. Well, <laughs> they're always they're always upping us. But right now, this is the most expensive that I have on the lot. Excellent, Paul. Thank you so much for giving us this guided tour of the Redwood 24-foot 
model designation is 4120 GK Giant Kitchen 4120 GK GK means Giant Kitchen Giant Kitchen Yep Interesting I've heard Island Kitchen Yeah Front Kitchen Rear Kitchen First time I've encountered Giant, giant <laughs> Yes The GK model Yes Excellent Thank you so much Thank you for having us it's been a pleasure Thanks